Hello guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another YouTube video. We're doing a weekend vlog. And today's Friday. I just finished work. I took a shower. I cleaned my apartment. And now I'm getting ready to go out for dinner. <laughs> so Lyle and I are going to this place called Cell Rose, which is one of my favorite places. It's right on the border of the Lower East Side. It's right on Bowery Street. And the reason why I love it is because they do seafood, particularly oysters. So I've been craving oysters for so long. So I'm really excited for this. I was like, we need to make a reservation here. I need to go. So right now I'm just deciding on an outfit. I'm wearing this, which is this little top that I found this week at Zara. I will leave it linked down below. Is it not just the most like adorable pink top? It looks like this. And I have a pair of white jeans on that are old from Topshop. The only thing is, is that it's like 50 degrees out so I think I'll be a little bit too cold in this which is really sad because I'm like this is what I want to wear and it's May so it should be warm <laughs> actually maybe I'll just poke my head out the window and see if I'm too cold in this hold on <sighs> I can't tell uh, I'm like I really want to wear it and part of me is just like be confident wear it wear the shirt tail I don't care what anybody thinks like wear what you want but then the other part of me is like am I gonna be uncomfortable all dinner the whole dinner if I'm cold and I'll if I'm too cold I'll just be wearing my jacket anyways but yeah it's so cute it's got like these little rufflies on it oh, but maybe I should think of a backup option okay I'm just looking at my rack here a lot of these are dresses, so, and because it's cold, I kind of wanted to wear these white jeans. Um, and then I gotta change this whole outfit. That's cute. Except for this one, which I feel like is, would be just as cold. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Oh, also I got my nails done. So this week I was walking through, it was like a night after work and I was feeling really just like defeated. I was like, it was like seven o'clock PM. I was like, I am done with this. I need to walk away. And so I walked to Washington Square Park couldn't walk into the park because they were filming. I don't know what they were filming, but I do know that they've been filming the show The Marvelous Miss Maisel a lot in Washington Square Park these last couple weeks. So it could have been that. I don't know because they wouldn't let me see. But so I kind of like walked around the other side of the park and then on my way back, I was like, oh, I don't want to go back and do more work. And it was getting dark and I stumbled upon a nail salon and it really made me feel like you know that scene in Legally Blonde where she's like driving in the car and she's all upset and then she sees the nail salon and she's like Whoa, turns around the car and just like pulls in immediately like puts her hands in the bowl and it's like oh, I, felt, I felt like that so I got a manicure and a pedicure and I paid like the extra ten dollars or whatever to get like a foot massage because I was like I'm just gonna pamper myself and then like it really helped because by the time I came back I was like okay now I feel like relaxed I feel better and then I finished doing more work after that and it was really helpful <sighs> but anyways I'm just so excited that it's the weekend because this week was so long so I can't wait to just sit down with a glass of something and just eat oysters <laughs> but yes I was talking about my nails sorry <laughs> so this is what I did I wanted to do I wanted to go for like a pastel color I got gel and they didn't exactly have pastel colors but this is the closest that I could come to it's like a pastel purple and I got my toes done as well so I got this like pinky color so I did like a pink and purple all right I settled on this top similar kind of feel but it's like it's more I feel more covered and comfortable I still feel chic in my purple but I feel more comfortable <laughs> because this top while I love it is as you can see like it's so tiny it's it's pretty much like wearing a bra <laughs> as a top so I don't know just like when I'm sitting down at dinner I just have to tell myself like there will be other opportunities to wear it and in high summer and all of that until then it will sit in my drawer I also have this top which I love I tried this on but wasn't so sure this is from Saison and they actually I brought I bought it last year and they brought the same exact one back this year I saw it in the store 
so yeah it looks like this it has these really 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 pretty uh, like little sleeves and it's just like so detailed and just like beautiful so lovely for the summer it's cute as well okay so I'm gonna do that settled on that just gonna do some perfume the one that I like here is from YSL and it is so strong, you only need one spritz. So I literally just spray it, walk into it, and that is all that I need. And for jewelry, I'm doing my Majeri rings. So yeah, my little stacked wishbones, my other two little ones, my two Majeri little dainty bracelets. And then also for Majeri, I think just all my jewelry is from Majeri. These little pearl earrings, which are really cute. we go <laughs> okay now I just need to put shoes on which I think I just want to be kind of comfy so I might just do my super uh not super goth my Fiji shoes and that's it <laughs> up my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it morning now in my new little H&M robe with a straw because <laughs> I'm about to make myself a little Pedialyte cocktail I guess <laughs> because I'm getting my second shot my second vaccine today so a couple of vlogs ago I got my first vaccine of Moderna and I got it in Brooklyn and then now four weeks later I'm getting my second shot so I was fine after the first shot and I just got muscles like my arm was sore which I feel like is normal after shots but I've heard for the second shot that a lot of people have actually you know felt not so great afterwards and uh, so and the people who have taken it already my friends or co-workers have told me to prep so they're like drink Pedialyte beforehand and then afterwards take some ibuprofen so I don't know if this is actually going to help anything but I'm like you know Mine as well. Also, last night was fun, so we went to, obviously we went to sell rose, ate oysters, so I was in my happy place there. I absolutely loved that. And then afterwards, Lyle's friend, we, we went out with Lyle's friend because we were celebrating because he just got a job. So yeah, so we um, went to Hair of the Dog, which, I don't even know why we were there. That's such like a dive bar -y place, but basically what they're doing is like they have like very separated seating inside. So that's what we did. <laughs> and then this doesn't taste so bad. I got the strawberry flavored one. Really don't mind it. I thought I was going to hate it, but I'm just gonna sip this. And then after Hair of the Dog, we tried to go to, this is gonna make me sound so bad. I never go to these places, Mr. Purple. <laughs> Um, but obviously they were doing like a, it was like a hundred dollars per person. We were like, mm, no, not that kind of night. And then we tried to go to make believe. Also, you had to have a reservation to go up. So we didn't do that. And then we ended up at this place, Sunny Boy, which we actually had brunch at a couple weeks ago and they have good drinks. So we kind of sat at a picnic table outside, had a couple drinks there, and then came back to Lyle's apartment where we ordered Domino's and ate cheesy bread. <laughs> so that was my night, and actually, it sounds like I drank a lot, but really, I didn't. What I did was, at the first place, I had like a Prosecco, basically, was my drink. 
And then at the second place, I ordered a cider and I only drank it. It was like, you know, a regular beer and I only drank like that much of it. And then at the next place, I ordered a hot toddy because I was freezing and I only drank like this much of it. So that's kind of my secret sometimes when people are drinking is I'm like, oh, like, you know, especially since like, cause I didn't want to be hungover today cause I'm getting my shot and that would just be a bad idea. I'll just like, no one really pays attention that much. I'll just like drink a little bit and like get away with it. <laughs> so that's what I did. Also, Lyle was texting me. All right, so Lyle's, so, now I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup, change. It's a, it's a cold day out today. It's like 40, 50 degrees, it's raining. So I'm gonna put on a warm sweater. I think we're gonna go and get some French toast and eat a yummy breakfast. And then it's a shot later. So I'm just gonna go do that, put some makeup on, and see you guys in a bit. All right, here is my comfort outfit. I just threw my hair up because Meh, it's raining and I'm getting a shot, so nothing crazy is happening. Really warm, cozy sweater because it just makes me feel more comfortable in these situations. And I got these, these new shoes. They look like ballet shoes. So yeah, I got these from Waffler Randall, which is a store actually right down the street. And they are, they're actually the same people that I got these shoes from those really cute sandals they look like that I used to do ballet when I was younger so I love things like this and I feel like my style is very kind of like ballerina inspired so yeah really excited and they said that they look best with jeans so that's what I'm wearing them with and they're super comfortable too like the most comfortable shoe they think I've really ever worn um, yeah they're so cute so I'm so excited and yay I'm gonna try. Wait, is it really hot? No. It's not. Mm. Let's go. Thank you guys. It was nice but it's a nice flavor. Oh, it helps. Everything look okay, guys? Excellent. You'll enjoy. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Dreaming of you 
if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. apron because I just baked a cake basically before my vaccine later I have a couple hours I only need to do some work I was like hmm, I kind of feel in the mood to bake a cake so I kind of totally like romanticized life a little bit and danced around and baked a carrot cake so right now it's actually just cooling off got it on these wire racks and I made the frosting which is in the fridge. So when I get back from my vaccine appointment, I'll frost it and make it all pretty. But yeah, I also, as I was making the cake, I got a delivery and I like ran downstairs of this dress. And I was so excited. It's called the nap dress from Hill House Home. And it's just like, it's a kind of like a stretchy, super, super, super comfortable, just classic white dress for summer. This one is a little bit sheer though, so you can't really wear it out of the house. It's more so just like a nap dress, like, you know, just take a nap at home or just, you know, when you're doing stuff at home. Uh, but outside of the house, when you're kind of in the sun, it's a little sheer, so I wouldn't do that. Unless, actually, maybe it would be a cute kind of like bikini cover up to the beach. So that would be nice, a new, nice use for it as well. So yeah, my cake's all done. And I'm just gonna put my jeans and my sweater back on and head out and get my vaccine wish me luck i will let you guys know how it goes when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Oh my gosh Okay guys, so I just got the second dose And um It was fine, I just like Got a little bit scared cause Lyle was going to come in with me and then he couldn't because he couldn't find a parking spot and I don't like getting shots alone because I'm a big baby and so I ended up kind of panicking a little bit crying and they had another woman come over and kind of just like talk to me which was really nice but I don't know it just makes me feel really grateful for like people who like all everyone who's been volunteering in this whole pandemic and everything and so um so yeah it's kind of crazy to think about but yeah I'm just so so grateful I'm glad that it's over I'm gonna try to drink a lot of fluids and stuff to stay hydrated because I guess he was saying after the with Moderna it dehydrates you a bit so it's good to drink water and stuff so I'm just gonna go do that <laughs> Do you like collard greens? Mm, not really. There it is. Mm. Okay. You and I, the future is bright. Good 
morning. <laughs> it's about 9 o'clock a.m. now on Sunday. <laughs> it's about 9 o'clock a.m. now on Sunday. And I'm like feeling okay. I, after the shot yesterday, obviously, like, I felt fine. Lyle and I went to get dinner at this place called Peaches, which is like a, when I used to live in Bed-Stuy, it was uh, one of our favorite places. We like soul food, and it's so good. So we had that, and then we came back here, and I finished decorating the cake, so I iced it, and it looks so pretty. And then after that, we just stayed in and watched a movie. We watched The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind on Netflix, which is really good. I wanted to watch it because I read the book when I was in college. Like freshman year, my college, everyone had to read a book before coming in and that was the book that we read. And then he actually came and spoke to our, to like to speak to our class, which was really cool. It's such like an inspiring story. So yeah, I loved that. And then we stayed up to watch SNL because I guess there was like Elon Musk was on SNL and like miles into that so we watched that and then I just fell asleep and then this like last night it just wasn't really feeling so good I feel like well right now I have a headache and I never really get headaches <laughs> so yeah I just feel kind of crappy like headache I I got chills like first I was really hot and then I was really cold and when I was cold, it was like I was so cold that like I was like shivering inside, like I couldn't get warm. You know, like that feeling. And just like my whole body kind of aches. Like I just, yeah, I just feel a little bit off, I guess. So I've been drinking a lot of fluids. I took ibuprofen. I've been drinking more of my Pedialyte and just some water. So that's good. And then I'm also... A little bit more happy because I just called my mom because it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day <laughs> to all the moms out there. Um, I know that when you're watching this, it won't be Mother's Day anymore, but happy belated Mother's Day. So it's good to like FaceTime my mom and see how she's doing. I definitely miss her and wish that I could be spending Mother's Day in person with her and my dad and my brother. So yeah, so that's the deal. And then I'm just going to, I think... I'm just sitting on my couch right now with a blanket because I just don't feel like moving, but I need to get up, make myself breakfast, do my skincare, all of that. guys so I'm feeling a little bit better and I'm walking to the park right now because I had made plans to meet up with a girl named Amy who watches my YouTube videos and she DM'd me on Instagram said that she's new to the city just wants to make new friends and I'm like yeah same <laughs> well, I'd love to make new friends and so she asked me if I wanted to do a little picnic in uh, Washington Square Park so we're gonna do that and I'm really excited to meet her
I'm here with Amy. Yeah, I'm and here with Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and we just met up at Washington Square Park. Mm -hmm. And we both got boba, which is delicious. <laughs> I got, which one did you get? The brown, brown sugar? Brown sugar. Yeah. And I got the Thai, um, Thai milk tea and it's delicious. And she has the coolest feature on her phone. <laughs> where you, yeah, like you wave and it takes a picture. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> and we have little desserts here that she got. So yeah, fun. the cherry pie. <laughs> I forgot the name of this one, but it's like an Easter dessert. Okay. Macarons, pistachio, and raspberry, and some. Oh my gosh, amazing! Yeah, we're gonna be all this. Yeah. <laughs> to my apartment it's Sunday night now I ended up after the after the picnic with Amy by the way she was so sweet probably one of the nicest people that I have ever met and I'm so glad that we met up and I had to leave to go you know with Lyle's family but I think that she and I are definitely gonna get together again and she just seems so 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 nice so I'm so grateful that I got to meet her and then yeah, so after that I basically like ran back here. I got the cake that I made yesterday and I brought it to Lyle's families. They were just getting together, you know, just to eat and, you know, enjoy company and everything. And so I brought it over there, which was nice. I didn't have this giant cake to myself, you know. I was like, hmm, I need to like, you know, do something with this, give it to someone or something. So it ended up working out perfect. So that was great, but I'm really not feeling great still. I like have body aches and my head hurts and um, yeah, I just feel kind of off. They sent me home with a ton of food, which was so nice. So yeah, I have like chicken, lasagna and desserts and everything. So that'll be good so that I have stuff to eat like, you know, make it for dinner this week or whatever which is great so sorry I'm leaning over I guess I'm just <laughs> really tired but anyways from here I mean it's I think it's 8 o'clock I think when we were in the car it was like 7 30 7 45 so it's probably 8 o'clock ish right now and I think I'm just going to put some sweatpants on and get into bed and start editing this video and then try to get an early night's sleep just because, uh, just, you know, kind of sleep it off. So, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely don't forget to subscribe for more weekend vlogs and New York City stuff and fashion content. <laughs> And also check out the Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.